Right, so the Apple Avengers wrapped up and the iPhone 13 series are finally official and so let's delve into the differences between the iPhone 13 and 13 Pro to help you guys decide which one to go with. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours and with that being said, let's just tuck in. Right, so unlike last year, the differences between the regular models and the Pro models are actually kind of massive, so if you can afford it, go for the Pros in my opinion. Anyways, delving in, the first big upgrade with the Pros are the ProMotion displays. So yes, at last we have 120Hz on the iPhone, and this is an LTPO display, which means the display variably refreshes between 1Hz and 120Hz, and so there should be a minimal impact on the battery life. But yes, this alone is a major upgrade over the regular iPhones, which are still 60Hz. Also regarding the display, it's much brighter on the Pros, and that actually makes a huge difference outdoors. The next major improvement are the cameras on the 13 Pro series, because the sensors are much larger, and so overall you're getting a much better camera experience on the Pro models. By the way, regarding the cameras, another major feature for the Pros is ProRes support. So this is Apple's video format. This basically gives you much higher quality video, and this, again, is a Pro exclusive. And along with Pro Raw, this really gives you more control over what you shoot and produce with your iPhone. Another surprising upgrade for the Pros is actually a performance boost. You have a 5-core GPU on the Pros, a 4-core GPU on the regular models, and so it's possible the Pros are 10% faster. Another surprising improvement was the battery life, because of course I expect the Pro Max to be better than the regular 13 and 13 mini, but surprisingly the regular Pro also has slightly better battery life than the regular 13. And finally, there are more storage options with the Pros, namely a 1TB storage tier that could be useful for those who might be thinking of recording ProRes video. And by the way, in case you're wondering about the features, all these models share, here's a list of them right now on your screen. Anyways, those are the main differences between the iPhone 13 and 13 Pro series. And yes, as I said at the beginning, I would highly recommend getting the 13 Pro because you do actually get a lot of upgrades with the Pro models to justify the premium. Anyways, tell me in the comments below which iPhone 13 model are you gonna get? Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the icon above on details regarding AirPods Pro 2. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.